Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started in today's video, please make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. So as you can see, right, by the video uh, title and the thumbnail, yes, indeed, uh, Ramon Mundo Mendoza, you know, an ex-prison gang member turned informant, you know, slash YouTuber, right? Uh, he has indeed called it quits. Uh, I saw one of his videos, right? Uh, apparently his last video on PFP Publishing, where he was stating, uh, it was a fairly recent video, like it literally, like less than an hour, right, it was posted. And he was pretty much saying that, yeah, this will be his last video, right, that he just made. Uh, apparently he's gonna go back, you know, resume his life, you know, just out of public view, right? Even though he wouldn't really show himself like that, but you will still hear from him, right? Uh, now say what you may about you know, Mundo, his personal life, what he did, debriefing and, you know, uh, pretty much testifying against individuals, locking individuals away. Uh, he was, if I, I do believe, if not the first, one of the very first in that whole, you know, prison genre, telling stories and all that. Uh, so he was a pioneer in that aspect, right? Uh, one thing that I noticed about his channel compared to other channels a lot of channels would, you know, they will bring, they will tell stories or say this and that. Uh, but it was always kind of shaky, right? Like the information was always sometimes contradictory, right? Uh, some people would say this or that. Uh, you know, they would, it was kind of hearsay. His was a lot of like, you know, he would tell you this happened, this, this, and then. When, why, how, where, you know what I mean? Uh, with pictures and all that. Uh, it was thorough, you know. His channel was for the most part, thorough. Now, granted, a lot of people claim that he had bias, you know. He was biased, you know, to people from down south or whatever. Is, uh, I personally didn't see that, right? I just saw him speaking on what he knew from his point of view, right? What he was... That's his truth, you know what I mean? Everybody has their own truth, and he spoke it how, you know, he felt how he saw it, right? Uh, I know he got a lot of hate from a lot of people uh, because of it. You know, of several other channels, right? They would kind of call him out saying that, you know, that he was lying about certain things or this and that. Uh, nonetheless, I never saw him, you know, uh, get out of character, you know, get out of pocket and respond super crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, that's the end of an era right there. Uh, like I said, he was one of the very first, if not the first. Uh, yeah, it's just, just, you know, coming to an end right here. Uh Tell me what are your guys' thoughts. I'm sure a lot of you guys watch uh, that channel, right? As a matter of fact, in my analytics, when I see a lot of, like, oh, what do my viewers watch? What, what are they into? Because it shows me, right, the, what kind of videos you guys watch or recommendations. Uh, that was one of the first channels that would always pop up. I'm sure in every other YouTuber in, around the similar genre, PFP Publishing or the other ones that he had. I used to watch his channel a lot. But once he started, you know, switching up, and then it would be PFP, then it would be Perplex News, and it was, it just got hard to follow, right? Uh, eventually, I kind of just lost interest. Uh, the stories, a lot of them were kind of repeated. He would kind of bring them back. Uh, yeah, but I feel like he probably felt like, yo, he served his purpose. Uh, you know, he would try to put in, you know, a little Bible verses here and there, or try to preach. Uh, but tell me what are your guys' thoughts on this, right? Comment down below, and I'm interested in reading and seeing what you guys have to say, right? But other than that, guys, I hope you guys like this quick little spill. Stay posted for more. But other than that, I'm out, guys. Peace.